This is a battle we're going to see plenty of in the future. They're side by side again. No! <laughs> is your hand still shaking? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Inside Pass. We're headed to Mizano for the 13th round of the MotoGP Championship. It is Valentino Rossi's home Grand Prix, but it was Andrea Dovizioso who won here last year with the Ducati. Since the passion for motorsport is pretty big in this part of Italy, it's only fair that I get a chance to get on a pocket bike and I have the best possible teacher to do so. Hi Maria! Hello! So Maria, it's going to be the first time for me on a pocket bike and I really need your help. I'm really happy to teach you. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Let's go get on a pocket bike! Maria, that was awesome. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Your style was good. Yeah. <laughs> just, just practice. <laughs> I definitely need more practice, so we'll have to come back. Thank you so much for this, and um, let's head to the racetrack. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Perfect. See you in Mizano. So this morning, I was on a pocket bike for the very first time in my life. Okay. Did How you fresh? I did not crash, thank you very much, I did not crash. When did you start riding? Uh, with the pocket bike, six years old, but with the motocross, four. Do you remember which bike? Yes, for sure, I have at home my first bike. Uh, it's a Malaguti, red and blue, and it's really, really nice. I started riding at three years old with pocket bike. I started when I was three, three years old and was a Peewee, Yamaha Peewee. A little bit younger than, than you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Fabio. <laughs> Two years and a half. The knee? No, no. Almost. Almost? Almost. Almost? Well, next time. But especially to the left. To the left? Uh, left corner, yeah, like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> much better left corner. I started on motocross bikes uh, when I was four years old. And then I passed to road bikes when I was eight years old. I never ride a pocket bike. Okay. I already started with a... It was not a pocket bike, it was uh, like a 50cc, but uh, bigger. Did you get your knee down? Uh, almost. Oh, what do you mean almost? almost? Come on, it's basically already <laughs> on the ground on a pocket bike. They had leathers, a back protection, the boots, helmet. All the kit. Everything. And still no knee on the ground. No. Oh. Next time. One time you have to come and train with us. Deal. We have the ovales and everything. Deal. We got you. You see this? Left-handed handshake, that means it's real. <laughs> I started riding a motorcycle, uh, two and a half. Five years old with a Beta 50. I started riding on pocket bike eight years old until uh, 12. I was three years old. It was a quad, had four, four wheels. Uh, I started riding when I was nine years old, but I started pocket bike when I was 13, 14, because first I did some other bikes. I, I was with three years old, I, my father said. So I had um, a small wheels on the sides, like okay. a bicycle. He make it, and then he had a, a button that he could switch off from the distance, like a parking uh, button. Yeah. So when I was a little bit too wide and I was going and I, I was not stopping, so he was stopping the bike for me. And then I was crying. Jubilation, joy down in KTM, Palo Spargaro, their first ever dry qualifying Yay! session, front row start, so, so close to being a pole position. I'm heading over to Yamaha to speak to a rider that I'm sure you'll recognize. Hi, Valentino. Hi. So, I've heard that yesterday you realized a childhood dream. So you were in your hometown, Tavulia, with your bike and full like racing leathers. How did that feel? It's, uh, it's great because uh, it was really my, my dream when I was young to pass through my hometown, to, through Tavulia, 
with the, with the MotoGP bike, with my M1. And it was a great feeling, I have also a lot of people. I stop in the square, in the center of Tavulia, yeah. and I have uh, all, my, all my old friends and everything. And everybody was uh, really, really very excited. Yes! <laughs> and uh, and it was, uh, was a great feeling, yes. It was an historical moment for us. When was your first time on a bike, ever? I, I had a, a very small bike when, uh, when I was three or four years old, so around 35, 36 years year ago. We have a bit of a challenge for you, you can sit next to Valentino. So this is Matteo, Matteo, can ciao. you? Ciao. ciao everybody. So he's Valentino's telemetric, right? You guys have known each other for many years. Yes. And I have a bit of a challenge just to see who has the fastest reaction time. Okay. You need to tap the screen once, wait for all the five lights to go out, and then tap again as fast as you can. Okay. 2.63, buono. Okay, 0.263, let's see if Valentino can beat that time. Ah, 252! Oh, so yes, Valentino wins the challenge. Yeah, 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 it was very, pretty close, pretty close. Well, thank you guys so much Ciao. for doing the challenge. Thank Ciao. you, have a great home weekend. Ciao. Ciao. Suzuki wins here at the Bosses home circuit. The circuit named after his late son, Marco. That is absolutely unbelievable. We just saw how Valentino Rossi did at the reaction game. So let's see how the Red Bull MotoGP Rookies Cup riders do. Hi, boys. Hi. You guys uh, have the championship, you know, finishing in two races time. But we have another championship that is going to be decided today, which is the Reaction Game Championship. So let's go meet up with the rest of the boys and Perfect. figure out who's the fastest, has the fastest reaction time. So let's go. Let's go. Hi, boys. Hi. Hi. These are the boys, the rookies that are going to be fighting for the Reaction Game Championship. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> These guys are laughing, but it's their turn now. Let's see how they do. Okay. Wow. Okay, boys. So, do you want to break tie? Okay, tie break. Point two five eight. This is the tiebreaker. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. I have to say that you guys basically are the fastest. Well, congratulations. Does, did the game feel like you were on the grid? Like, did, yeah, does it make you nervous? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, more than A bit, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Always competitive. That's our life. <laughs> I've seen some shaky hands. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is your hand still shaking? Thank you guys for, for playing the game. Nico is our reaction game champion. Shaky man. <laughs> the shaky, shaky man. to meet up with the Red Bull athlete Masi Pifaretu to give him his first ever taste of the MotoGP VIP village. Masi is our guest, our VIP guest for this Grand Prix. Yeah, we should head into this village and check it out. My first uh, MotoGP race. I'm actually super stoked. You guys are making me do all kinds of fun yep. things. Yep, let's explore. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Ooh, she wants to marry me. Thank you. <laughs> These are the lounges. So we're going to get a bit of a tour and see if we can get something to eat. All right. The place to be in Mojo Feels TV. good. Feels good to be the place to be. This is better than Dunkin' Donuts. I hope they got pizza because I am the pizza boy. Whip it up, whip it up, whip it up. Look at that. Yeah! Yeah! 
They sound insane. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, we gotta race him on this side, okay? When I say go, you just flat out. <laughs> so apparently someone just crashed. Oh no. All right, it's okay. We're good. Might have scratched his bike a little bit. Yeah. Thank you so much. Grazie. How would you feel about going to the MotoGP starting grid? Oh my God, you're kidding me. <laughs> no, you're no, messing no, with me. No, you no, guys no. are messing with me. Let's go. Whoa. I definitely want to go see Dovi because it's my teammate and we support our teammates always. I definitely didn't imagine that there would be this many people just because like, you know, the riders have to get in their zone and stuff like that. And I could totally understand how the pressure could be a little higher when yeah. you got people running around you and stuff. One cool thing about here is that you got all your homies, your team supporting you, and your close people next to you, and that's something really cool. When I go compete and stuff like that, like I'm always by myself. Yeah, this is this is insane, inspiring. I've ever been at, like, no doubt, hands down. So now let's see what happens during the race. We're ready to go racing. Chapter 13 in San Marino. He's go. Good start there from Thomas Fargo. He might back here, struggled a bit, actually, from the second row. It's Yamaha versus Yamaha, side by side into the fastest part of the circuit. On the inside goes Fabio Quattararo. Marquez here is really looking aggressive, isn't he, on that Repsol Honda, trying to find a way through now on Maverick Vinales. Onto the back straight we go. That was it for the San Marino Grand Prix, where we saw Fabio Quattararo lead for most of the race, and it all came down to the last lap battle between him and Mar Marquez. When Mar Marquez overtook him, he wouldn't have any of it, regained control of the race. But Marquez, being Mar Marquez, went for it again, overtook Fabio. Quattararo's going for it at turn number four. He's got the inside line. Can he hold it? This is a battle we're going to see plenty of in the future. They're side by side again, and up to the inside in a turn. It's Marquez, Marquez. Can he get it stopped? But on Fabio's last attempt to reclaim the lead, it looked like he had to hit the brakes, not to hit the back of Mark Marquez's rear tire. Here he comes. Here comes Alonso. No, he's not going to make it. There are just two cars to go. Oh, he almost trips up. Marquez wins in enemy territory here in the style and he moves ahead of Mike Halewood. Mark Marquez takes the victory after missing out on that first step of the podium for the last two races. Fabio Quartararo's first GP victory will have to wait. And with Maverick Vinales coming in on third and local hero Valentino Rossi just missing out on fourth. Join us next time when we will be in Spain for the Gran Premio Michelin de Aragón. Until then, let us know in the comments below what your favorite part of the vlog was and what you would like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe to the Red Bull Motorsport YouTube channel so you don't miss another episode of Inside Pass. See you next time!